so today it's time again to show something new. So this is the Yamaha SU99. We have installed a floppy emulator inside of this one. So yeah, let's fire it on and see how it works. Um, we need to get on the other side. So we say like this. Look at that. Great. So um, what I want to show as usually is uh, the uh, floppy emulator which I have installed inside of this Yamaha um, device. Um, so we have already chosen a disk here. So what we start doing is we click on Intelligy, then we get some options and here we just go down to option number two, load from disk, and then we hit enter. Okay, so we have some options if we want to fill it down to something specific, but we just take all data in this uh, illustration. So, all data, and now it shows what we have on this um, USB stick. So, let's scroll down to option number four, which is on the disk, and then we click on go. And to get on go, we just click on F8 here. And it asks us if we are sure that we want to do it. And we just hit yes, please. And now it starts loading. And as it loads, you can hear it on the emulator and it then counts up. Okay, we are finished. So what we do now is that we then hit voice. And we can already see that it have loaded the first sound. So, no, let's take a pick. Yeah, this is the first sound, darkness. Okay, let's try load something else into it. So we click again on um, utility. We click on option number two. So scroll down to option number two, hit enter. All data, enter. Let's take this uh, techno, uh, techno two. And then we hit F8. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, we finished loading, so we hit voice. Techno organ. Wow. Okay, let me go to the, the first one. Wow, okay. <laughs> Super sex. So I think I think that's fine for now. So just as notice, as I want to mention concerning the installation of uh, those drives, um, to be able to connect it to the main board, you need some kind of special adapter because um, the pin cable which you have to connect with is 26 pins, while the Cortex uses 34. Yeah, I think that's basically it.